the animators, and everyone that's working on this series, they like to talk about difficult subject matters. They don't shy away from it. They will just do it. And I respect it, because stuff like this does need to be talked about. Despite the anime shield as a saying they find so many anime characters to be relatable, or the themes of a show being so emotional, in reality they have nothing in common with whatever they find relatable, and do not learn anything from the themes of the shows they find so emotional. They are the biggest of hypocrites, and you should not listen to them. You should be mocking them because that is what they deserve. Oh, you like Oshinoko, huh? Because it's talking about a difficult subject matter? Hmm, okay. Let's see how much you like to talk about difficult subject matters. So let's uh, talk about Oshimai. I do want to talk about it because obviously I'm a guy that covers anime. I cover manga. I cover news topics, etc. I'm not going to really dive too deep into that rabbit hole. Obviously, I feel like... Uh, it's my obligation to a certain extent to talk about Oshimai regardless of how controversial necessarily it is. I don't want to dive into that toxic lake. That is not what I'm going to do. Yes, there are a few sus parts. I'm not going to really dive too deep into that rabbit hole. Clearly, it is causing a lot of controversy. And so, let's talk about it. I don't want to dive into that toxic lake. That is not what I'm going to do. There is definitely controversy around certain areas. I'm not going to really dive too deep into that rabbit hole. Now, regardless of your personal stance, or how you feel about it, whatever. This is a good episode if you want to look past some sus parts of it. I don't want to dive into that toxic lake. That is not what I'm going to do. I wanted to talk about Oshimai. I'm not going to really dive too deep into that rabbit hole. There is a really in-depth story going on, and I am excited for it. I don't want to dive into that toxic lake. That is not what I'm going to do. Oh my, look at that. He loves a show that does the exact opposite of what he does. And before some of you think people are learning how to behave better thanks to the themes of this show, my profile is filled with harassment comments from fans of Oshinoko because I didn't like the show. These are the fans who like an anime that is telling the truth about internet harassment while constantly harassing others. How is that not hypocrisy? How can you trust these people? Why would you want to be part of their echo chamber? They like things that have nothing to do with them and behave in the exact opposite way their favorite heroes are supposed to be teaching them how to behave. Screw these people and screw the community they created. Because down to it, they don't give a shit about the subject matter or the themes. They just wanna masturbate at the pretense of being smart by consuming a product that's supposed to be deep. I don't want to dive into that toxic lake.